morning. It's Thursday the 3rd of November and I'm sitting outside the post office. It's absolutely bombing down with rain. So if you can hear it on the car. Um, I was going to take the kids out for food today, but two of them don't want to go. One of them do, so that one was outnumbered. I'm going to do a few things now. I'm going to the post office, post a couple of things. Then I'm going to go to Costco. I've got Dexter with me. I'm going to go to Costco um, to have a look round because it's my mother's 80th birthday. <laughs> it's my mother's 80th birthday coming up some of you will know this month and she doesn't want to fast she doesn't want to party she doesn't want this she doesn't want that <clears throat> so we're going to do a tea party so i'm going to go to costco and have a look at what they do for like sandwich platters and things because they thought it'd be easier than making all the stuff especially with a bad leg i can't stand there making hundreds of sandwiches and stuff. So I thought I'd go and see what they had to order and order some. And then I told the kids they can have a Burger King because we very rarely get a Burger King. We get other fast food, obviously. Um, but we very rarely have a Burger King and I've got an easier day set today so I can use more calories. So we're gonna have a Burger King and then I'm going to make tortellini, pasta, lasagna for dinner. No thanks. Um, so yeah, another day of, uh, well, not doing much really. I've now got a recipe for my cake. My friend messaged me this morning actually, a recipe saying she was going to do this cake in a slow cooker. And I've got all the ingredients to make this cake and it did look really nice. So I thought I'll give that a go. I don't know if I've got a round cake tin though that's gonna fit in my slow cooker. I'll have to um I'll have to have a look at that. Or I can make it the same recipe, but I'll air fry it instead, I'll see. But yeah, so I will video myself doing that. It does look a nice recipe. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get on with my day because it's nearly 12. I've had nothing to eat as yet, so hmm, I'll probably be having a few goodies today. But if you wanna see what I'm eating today, then stick around and I will show you. And I'll also, I'll also take you along and show you again what's in Costco because I might go to different aisles this time because I never go around the whole shop at once. But yeah, I'll catch you in the next clip. So we have just arrived at the shed. We're gonna go and do a donation and have a quick look around. the shed we did get a couple of things we donated two ragatta coats and we come out with a little truck that Dexter wanted I'm sure it should have had a roof but it'll go, it'll it's a little car a little car go with this collection of cars you know the I thousands can't. he's got picked up these this they say um Indian fine dining. They're actually from a restaurant, so I don't know whether someone's half inched these at some point and they've ended up in there. But I thought they were good. You can't microwave them on, I think, because they've got a gold rim on them. But the reason I bought these was it's cheaper than buying disposable stuff to do my mum's tea party. So I got them. They'd be handy for putting some crisps or whatever in. Mom, 50p. Yeah. What type truck is this? It's like an old fashioned one picked up this as well to Warren's Delight but it'll be in the cupboard before he comes home um it's a serving tray needs a good wash it's got no chips in the cupboard we sorted out yesterday yeah well if I can't reach you will yeah 
Italian first quality, it says on the back. I don't think it's anything particularly special. But again, I got this for mum's party. The kids have parties and tea parties and things, so they're handy to keep. But yeah, there's not no chips or anything on it, which is good. It's got a nice fruit pattern on there. It's not the most modern of things, but perfect what I want it for. And then we had this very large storage bag which I can put that in the back. The kids can um, put some of their toys and stuff in. And then the last thing I bought was this. because so I thought it was very nice and it's gray. And that will go to my downstairs. Can't really show you because it's round obviously. And it's struggling me in the seat belt. I don't know where it's from because it's just got a warning sign on the back. But it's just a very large round picture. And it says every day is a gift which it is isn't it you can't bank on being here tomorrow you should treat every day as if it's your last because you never know what's just around the corner but i had that that was three pound but i thought that was good and it's in good nick it's got the tiniest little bit of gray coming up at the bottom there but it just needs a bit of um glue on it so potentially i'm going to put that in my hallway at the front door or um or if i don't have it my grandma my grandma your grandma would probably like that twang yeah i thought that dish was nice do you like that fruit dish quite nice isn't it look all the fruit that we should be eating that we get slated for not eating and these two dishes yeah bay leaf 02920. That must be a restaurant in Cardiff because that's a Cardiff number. Put them down there. Grandma wants that dish down that's there when we go back. Spin, spin, spin. Right, on to our next stop. Where's our next stop? Cardiff. Cardiff. Yeah. Next stop Wait. is. Costco. Um, is it Costco? No, next stop is Lidl oh. and Costco. Why don't we just go to Lidl and then Costco? That's what I'm going to do. Why don't we just go to Costco and then Lidl? <clears throat> no, we'll go to Lidl first. Then Costco. I get out here. What's the car coming? Can't see, there's so many cars parked. Right, let's go and get on. Hopefully we won't smash the dishes on the back seat by the time we get home. Will we? Right. No, we've just come across the common in Lantrison and there's loads of horses and cows and things but if we go that way we'll end up in the wrong place we're going somewhere else now right we'll catch up with you in a bit guys so just come out of Lidl's and of course my pretzel I love these 261 calories for a Lidl's pretzel so yeah gonna have that and Costco is literally just behind us now so we're gonna nip in there and then nip and get a Burger King so we'll catch up with you in Costco.
Right, we're out of Costco. Couldn't get a lot in there. I mainly went to look to see what they had available as stuff for my mother's party, so I know what I'm getting. But I saw these. I thought they were really nice. Snoopy Christmas cards. So I bought those. 40 Christmas cards, that's plenty. I don't send out that many Christmas cards. How much were they? Christmas cards. 10.99 for 40 Christmas cards. Got them. I also picked up two more of these. The lady was doing samples with these and Dexter was sampling them. Picked up two last time we were here and they are really, really nice. So I picked up two more as spares. You tasted it in there. Yeah, I did. Five ninety nine for two one big I ones. Mm. They were also doing taster on this sea bass, and Dexter tasted it and said it was really nice. So we've got some of that. So I'm going to take out some for tomorrow for our dinner, and then I will freeze the rest. So they were they were quite expensive, but I think there's seven bits in there, and they work out at like two pound a bit. She said. How much were they? Yeah, £14.39 they were. So I got them. Dexter was also tasting this ham. It is a double pack of ham. And it's got quite a long date on it. So we tried that, so we got that. How much was that ham? £8.69, but there is a lot of ham there. And then the last thing we got was this piece of pork. I'm going to do pulled pork in the slow cooker, I think, at the weekend, maybe. I didn't think that was a bad price. How much was that? £9.43. The price on some of the meat in Costco, though, it was a bit eye-watering. It was like steaks on that for nearly £70. And... It's all right if you've uh, got, got, a the got the wallet to pay for things like that. I've got a lot of dough a lot of dough yeah not us yeah. right that's it we're now popping to burger, burger king, king to get them a burger jinx it's 10 to 3 and then jinx got to stop and get grandma paper and that's it and we're home for the rest of the day Mom, not that there's much of the day said, left we said um burger king two times and i said jinx mm. well, you can't talk until i say your name i know Oh, I don't know that one. It's Jim. Right, we're gonna go. So, I'll let you know what I have in Burger King. So, this is what I'm having for my lunch. I have got a Burger King a Whopper and I have got six onion rings in there. That is my lunch and I will stick a breakdown on screen. So, this is what I've ended up with for dinner. I was gonna do the tortellini uh, lasagna but we had our Burger King quite late. We weren't overly hungry. It's quite late now, so I've just made tortellini pasta. It's spinach and ricotta. The whole meal is 635 calories, and I'll stick a breakdown on screen. So it's just the tortellini pasta with some cheese on, and then I've got two slices of reduced fat garlic bread. So I have got a monstrous amount of calories left that I can use. However, as much as I'd like to sit and just scoff nearly a thousand calories worth of rubbish, I'm not going to. So what I've done is I've taken off my easier day for the week and I've got the one still for Saturday, but I've taken off today's one and I was thinking, oh, should I put it on for tomorrow and have an easier day tomorrow? But no, I've taken it off. So it's given me slightly more calories for tomorrow. And then Sunday, it's 1,900 and something instead of 1,700 and something. But I had 200 and odd left now for having something once I've taken the easier day off. Otherwise, it was just under 1,000. So what I've done, I have just weighed out 30 grams of these. They were from Lidl's. And... All I have got for that is three chocolates. I think it was 167 calories. I've had to put it in manually, work it out, because they weren't on the app. They were from Lidl's and they were with the Halloween stuff. Um, and that's it, and I've got a couple of calories left. So, easier day cancelled. Those three chocolates will do me now. And I'll catch you tomorrow. So that's it, it's quite late now. So I'm gonna watch a bit of telly.
and then tomorrow I've got to go and order the kids' bikes for their birthday so that they arrive on time. Although Halfords don't deliver, I don't think. I'll have to pick them up. But yeah, so that's it for today. Hope you've enjoyed watching, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow on the next one. So bye.